What's going on guys today? It's Ratchet Wrenches and I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to show you guys how to remove um, the side side skirts from the Mark V GTI and I'm going to clean up under it because it's filthy under there and then I'm going to show you how to restore the uh, trim. I'm sure there's a lot of tutorials on how to do this but I figured I might as well make one, do something a little different, involve the GTI because we haven't really been doing it lately and before I sell it so let's get into it. So first thing you're going to need is a ratchet. And you're gonna need a T10. I don't know if you guys have that, but I'm sure your local auto parts store can get that. It's a T10, something like that. And I'm on a quarter inch drive. And then there's four bolts. One bolt is under there, and then there's one, two, and three under the uh, whole side skirt. So yeah, I mean, these have never been redone. So I'm gonna, um, polish them up a little bit so they stand out as black and not like this faded color but people are saying it's pretty easy to do so uh, without further ado let's let's get into it our famous As you can see, it was held on by some 3M double-sided tape. And then of course that black thing is just a bracket. But we're gonna clean that up, polish this up, and make it look brand new again. Now, before we get into cleaning that, I'm gonna rinse this down. Obviously, there's going to be some residue of the other side tape. You're going to want to take some adhesive removal and let that soak in it and take it off. And then you're going to want to use some more uh, tape for just extra precautions. But the four bolts should be enough. We'll let that dry out a little bit probably dry it off with the cloth and there's double-sided adhesive on that as well so we'll have to peel that off and then um we'll go to the next step all right guys i'm gonna use mother's back to black wipe it on that and get that thing shiny obviously it's a little shiny because it's wet a little bit but i'm gonna just pretty much rub it in there and um just smear it all around All right, so we're on the inside now, and we have all this leftover double side tape. I'm pretty much just gonna scrape that off. If you have a whiz wheel, you could just go right along there and take it off, but I don't know if you guys have that, so we're gonna do the old fashioned just for you guys. We'll uh, spray it with some adhesive remover and just scrape it little by little. But you make sure you wanna dry off the inside because you don't want water sitting here and then sitting on, on here and rusting up because it's just gonna be trapped water, so. Just be careful with that. All right, I got the adhesive remover. So I'm pretty much just gonna spray along the whole double-sided tape and let it soak in, and then um, we'll remove it. And I think it was just on the top layer, so you can see. Top. And then I'm going to do the body part. Uh -huh. 
All right, so I have it soaked. It's pretty much absorbed by the adhesive. So now I'm just gonna take like a little scraper. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand, but literally just scrape it all the way off. And then same for the body, but when you're on the body, you gotta be careful because obviously it's gonna be a little metal, so you don't wanna like scrape into it and you know, scratch the paint, but luckily it will be covered. So if you do scratch, it's not that big of a deal. So that's the best it's gonna get. It looks like there's still some on there, but there's not. It's just the the fadedness. I was chipping at it, but uh, like right here, there's a little bit, but I'll get that off before I put it on. But yeah, I mean, it took me about like 45 minutes to get it all down to the plastic and you know, plastic looks faded. So it looks like there's uh, some left over, but there's not. So I'm gonna put double side tape over that. And then I gotta get it off the body, which I'll show you guys next. So I'm on the body now and the um, remover is pretty much absorbed into the adhesive. So if I just take like a little rag, it's gonna come off, but I gotta do that. Very tedious job, but it's coming off. You can see this used to be thick. Now it's getting smaller and smaller. So I'll do that. So I'm running out of daylight, so I gotta kind of hurry up here, but um, there's no adhesive left here. It's literally just stained paint. This has been on there for so long. Um, I don't want to go too crazy. I mean, I could get that off, but once again, I'm running out of daylight and there's no need to it, no need for it because the adhesive sticks to it regardless. So I'm just gonna put the new uh, side screw back on. I ran out of double side tape, so I have thin, long, but it's okay because this kind of extends out here. So it's almost perfect. I went back to short. I'll peel it off, put it on, put the four bolts on. Once again, show you the finished results and then I'll just do the other side by myself because I don't want to show you and bore you, but it's pretty much the same, same exact thing, same exact steps and everything. All right guys, the side skirt is done. Um, it's shiny, but I'm sorry, it's a little muddy. I had to move my car so my mom could park in the driveway. It's muddy around here, but it's shiny. The other side's good to go. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you the finished product in daylight because you know, daylight savings time is kind of fucked up right now. So that's a wrap for today's video. Um, I know it's something a little different. I'm not sure if you guys are all interested in it, but right now I can't do any more mods to my car, so I had to be creative and do something a little different. So I hope you guys appreciate that. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for, we got big things coming. Big things coming. We got the Rex, we got the S3. You know, I promise you guys 500 horsepower. So I'm gonna definitely get that up there. So please smash that subscribe button, comment and like, it means a lot and it'll help us get to our goals quicker. We wanna get a project car, we wanna get a shop. We have a bunch of things we wanna do. We wanna open up a merchandise line. So everything's coming soon. Just make sure to stay with us and subscribe. Peace.